we're here at Boston Calling, courtesy of Dunkin' Donuts, the official sponsor of Radio BDC Live at Boston Calling. I'm here with Freddie from the back scenes. So you guys did a show last night before the big show. We did, yeah. How was it? It was great. I love your band. I think oh, the listeners you. know that I am a huge Vaccines fan. I thought that Sinclair show, um, I don't know how many months ago it was. Was it last year? Over a year now, I think. Was it over a year? Yeah, yeah. It was so good. Your oh, band is so, so good live. Thank you. We I try. Mean, no, I feel, like, I feel like it's a show. You know what oh, I mean? We hope so, yeah. Like, it's like I yeah. walked out of that show and I just, I don't know, I just felt so good. It's funny. It's definitely something that we've never tired of. Of touring? Performing live and touring. Yeah, because a lot of... I've seen bands play with their pajamas on underneath their clothes. Like they you know? couldn't even get out of their pajamas? No, so they just go straight to bed after the show, you know. I, I would think that that's sort of what it's all about. I mean, granted, the recording is, you know, and the writing and making the music, but I feel like going out there and presenting it to people... It's the fun bit. Th- that's, that's what it's the fun all about. bit, definitely. Yeah. That's like for people. It's the like, easy part. Well, yeah. it's like for people like me, who's kind of a super fan. Like <laughs> that's what. <laughs> it's very that, sweet. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to use that term now? I will. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, for me, like being in the audience, like to me, that's what it's all about. Like I listen to the record and I love the records and whatever. But like being able to see it live and yeah. have that experience live sort of makes it all... I always wish that we could make the records after we toured. Like tour, do the new songs, Like demo then... an album, then tour it, and then make a record. I guess you could Because songs, like... they, they have like their own life, and they grow, and they become... I always feel disappointed when I listen to our albums, in a way, because they've become... They've evolved to be something much better. It depends. It's a different, it's good to it's a have different the practice. Music so you know it. Yeah. You know. But I really like rock and roll records, and all those records for me are about vibe. What yeah. did you listen to growing up? Uh, my dad grew up in like north of England, so he used to go and see Black Sabbath and bands like that. A little heavier. Yeah, like a little heavier, but it was just you know the usual, just the Rolling Stones, and you know my parents were big music fans. And then I got really into punk, and then I got really into rockabilly. And now, now I just like whatever I define as rock and roll. That's what I I really yeah. love. You know. Well, I feel like the it's term. It's a feeling. It's a feeling yeah, thing. I, yeah. the ter- it's a loose term because you yeah. know, nowadays. But it's only applicable to me to certain things that you know people could call things rock or rock and roll, and but, but they don't mean that to me. You know, yeah, only, I, only a few things have that feeling to it. Mm. I feel like. There's a lot of different terms for a lot of different music out there. Yeah. You know, and it's sure gonna, it's very it's broad, gonna, isn't it? Like you like what you like. Yeah. You know, like right. why pin why pinhole yourself? You know, why yeah. just stay to one genre? Well, I think we're moving past that. You know, iPod generations become a genreless field, and I think people don't uh, define themselves by that anymore. It's very like antiquated. Like what whatever you put out, you put out. So I like hip hop, and that's it. I mean, that doesn't really exist anymore, I don't think. And thank God it doesn't. You know. well, and, well, not just that. There's so many variations of that, too, now. You know, exactly. of hip-hop. Like, yeah. the, it, it kind of goes exactly. all over the place. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your videos. Sure. So, <laughs> which are so fun and yeah. freaky. Yeah. Um, are you guys, like, sci-fi fans? Well, you know, I wouldn't say we were, actually. Were, were no. kinda... I think we wanted it to be... Uh, otherworldly and we wanted to play characters yeah and how was it because it was really fun but we just didn't want to do like another video where we were playing or another it, yeah. it's so boring to us you know so somebody does somebody come up with the idea for the video and then you were like yeah okay that sounds good and then you kind of figure it out and do it or do you sometimes guys people with come it? with an amazing pitch that's so weird that we get really you know we get really interested in it but like the one in the restaurant? Yeah, like yeah. that. We read it and we're like, we don't understand this at all. Let's do it. Yeah. It's perfect. But a lo- most of the time we have like a vague idea and then we so, go from there. They're very fun and I've watched them quite a bit. I feel like each time I watch them, I sort of see something different. And then I think to myself, I wonder what they felt like making that. Like, <laughs> I would have cracked up. Like, I don't know if I could have gotten through which, it. Which bit? Well, I think the one in the restaurant, and yeah. I think the, the the space one too yeah. for um, Dream Lover, but the one with the aliens and stuff, I kind of feel like I don't know if I could have gone through that with a straight face. Yeah, 
Yeah, we have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I feel Especially like when Justin got glassed with a bottle. That was pretty funny. You know, like I think you should put out all the outtakes. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. like this is really what happened behind the scenes kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so English graffiti. Um, when did that come out? A year ago? Is it been a year? Came out a year ago, three days ago. So a year and three days ago. A year and three days ago. Um, really good record. Do you guys write on the road and think about your next record, or are you still? I mean, we've got like 25 songs for our new record already, uh, and we're not in, in any rush to record it. So. Well, you're still on the road. Yeah, yeah, but you know, we write a lot, and we uh, we don't really write on the road very much. It's a very different part of your brain, I, you know. Have you been on the road for the last year? On and off. Pretty, on and yeah, off. Yeah, pretty much for the last six years, really, on and off. Right, well, you put out the record, and then you got to tour well, we the record. We've spent more time touring than not touring in the last six years. So. Well, because you came up with the EP, yeah. like, sort of in between everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that EP. Yeah. Well, that just made, putting out the EP just made me want a record. <laughs> Do you know? What's that? Putting out the EP just made me want a record. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I was sort of like, okay, it's I'll, an appetizer. I'll have, you know, please, sir, can I have some yeah. more, you know? <laughs> Uh, we're talking to Freddie of the vaccines. Um, so you're going, where do you go from here? So, Well, we're going to New York for a bit, just to be in New York. We're not doing anything there yeah. for a week. And then we have some shows in England, and then we're going to go into the studio and start, start think, working thinking on stuff. about a new record, yeah. Good, something to look forward to. Yeah, but your band is amazing, yeah. and I, I just, I don't know, I feel like, it just does it for me, you know? And like, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has their own thing. Vaccines is kind of my thing. So thank you, Freddie. You know, You're from me, welcome. thank you. Um, vaccines, it's Freddie from the Vaccines. We're at Boston Calling, courtesy of Dunkin' Donuts, the official sponsor of Radio BDC Live at Boston Calling.